coming out here today to go ahead and treat some bindweed that I have in my yard. Stay tuned. If you like my content, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check the notifications bell, and always leave a comment in the comment section. Getting out into the yard today, I have a lot of bindweed, also known as morning glory, that's growing within my yard. It's one of the horrible weeds that we have. Such a pretty flower for such a bad weed. And I had to come up with a weed killer that would actually tackle it really well. <laughs> So I ended up reaching out to a very trusted source. That's a great lawn. Hey man, glad you're here. Matt Martin, I really appreciate his knowledge. I reached out to him and he actually said to use triclopyr. And Turflon Ester is the version that we actually use in our turfs. So that's what we will be using today on this bindweed. It's good for a couple of different um, hard to get weeds. Clover, bindweed, oxalis, and I'll put up a list of a few other hard to hit. But as you can see throughout this lawn, we have quite a bit of it. I'm letting it kind of grow out so that it peaks its head up above and I'm gonna be hitting it today. I do not have a surfactant that I'm gonna use with it, so I'm actually just gonna use some dish soap with it. I will be picking up some surfactant here in the future. I'll be doing the spot treatment in the ornamental turf. I'll be mixing it at one half ounce per thousand square feet. Make sure that you're wearing your PPE. Today I have my uh, shoe covers on, long pants, long sleeve shirt, and gloves on. It's a little bit of a flood situation right there, figure it out. So as you're applying it, you don't want to saturate your weeds. You just want to spray them with a nice mist, and then go ahead and move on to the next weed. So on the coverage, of the weeds. You just want to spray them just really quick. You don't need to sit there and douse them. You run the risk of being able to damage your lawn. So you just want to spray it. You want to spray it. You just want to spray them really quickly, not douse them. On the rates that I used, I didn't use the full max rate. So if a little bit more gets applied, it's not going to hurt anything, but I just don't like running the risk of running that close to the edge. So as I'm doing these spot treatments, it would work a lot better if I used marking blue. I don't have any yet. I plan on picking some up here in the near future. Day two after spraying the bindweed. Flowers aren't so happy anymore. They're not up and doing much. And you can see they're starting to wilt. I'm Jeremy of the Greener Lawn. Make her green.